is Chris from the TraderGuide.com taking a look at the upcoming March 25th trading session. In front of you, I have the New Zealand dollar versus Singapore dollar currency pair. And for those of you who don't normally trade the Sing dollar, uh, it is considered to be a bit of a safety currency. Think Swiss franc of that part of Asia, maybe, would be the best way to look at it. New Zealand dollar has had a nice pop here as of late. Uh, but, uh, you know, as you can see, we fell all the way down here, closed up here, we've rallied, uh, but now looks very vulnerable as we have given up a bit of strength. So as I plow into the short term charts, I start to look for an entry that makes sense on a breakdown. Now I do see a cluster here right around 83. So sub 83, in other words, minus or uh, below 83. I'm willing to short this market, and I think a move to 81.20 is feasible. Stop loss, you got to keep your risk to reward ratio correct. I'd be looking at about a 50 pip stop loss, maybe 60, uh, no more than that, really. I'm assuming an entry at about 82.90, and that would basically look something like shorting here aiming for this area here and having your stop loss right around here so a nice risk to reward ratio it's with the trend alternate scenario that was scenario one so alternate scenario is if we find ourselves pressing 0.85 i'm willing to sell there willing to aim for 82.60 stop loss 85 25 i'm not going to risk a lot but as a general rule these round numbers do hold with the trend remember this is more or less a risk off trade and we've had a nice risk on run over the last 24 hours um, but that's not uncommon in these bear markets i don't know that enough's changed quite yet to get the new zealand dollar skyrocketing so uh, this is a good way to avoid the dollar the dollar is going to be messy with the stimulus package uh, but it does go with the trend quite nicely. Hope you enjoyed the video. Happy trading and make sure to like and subscribe.